Hello and welcome back to All Dolled Up. It's been a couple of months since I filmed a video, so bear with me if I'm a little rusty. But today I wanted to show you some products that I have acquired over the past few months, which I've mentioned in blog posts or other hauls, but I haven't actually showed you in action. So I've got some bits from my US haul a few months ago, some Bobbi Brown bits and pieces, as well as the Pat McGrath skin fetish. So to start off with, I'm going to be using some of this Becca Backlight Priming Filter, which I got in a kind of a US haul a few months ago. It's a really nice luminizing but not glittery primer. I'm going to just put this all over because you know me, I love to shine. Mm, it smells really delicious too. Next I'm going to be popping on some of the Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation Stick. This is in the color Warm Beige and to apply that I'm going to use the Bobbi Brown Full Coverage Face Brush which I used to not like but I now love. So it's one of those ones that just grows on you. You can either swipe this directly onto the face but um, I'm going to actually just apply it using the brush just to get a bit of a lighter coverage. This is very buildable which is great. I was worried that it would be too drying for my skin but it's actually really creamy and lovely and blends beautifully. Next I'm going to conceal under the eyes and you guys have seen me use this before but I've just bought it on YouTube and I absolutely love it. It's the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Flawless Wear Concealer. This is in the color 2C Light Medium. I got the waterproof one a little while ago which I do enjoy but it doesn't have a doe foot applicator. Yeah so it's a little bit more messy. I really like having a doe foot applicator. Just speeds things up a bit and I mean it means I don't have to get my fingers dirty. What a princess like that. And I'm just going to blend that in using a damp beauty blender. I thought I'd just quickly do my brows off camera because you've seen me do them a million times and it's a little bit tedious. So I have primed my eyes with some of the Urban Decay Primer Potion and now I'm going to show you this beauty from Tom Ford that I picked up a little while ago. This is one of the eyeshadow quads in Orchid Haze. So you've got two great shimmers and then a kind of a darker, actually they've all got a little bit of shimmer in them. But they're not offensively shimmery, they're just really beautiful. So I'm going to create a wintry look using these colours. So I'm going to start by taking this kind of champagne colour all over the lid. Next I'm going to take this kind of pinky colour which is so beautiful and I actually don't have anything like it in my collection which is what drew me to this palette. It's really flattering on blue eyes, I think on with any eye colour it would be really flattening. With any eye shade it would be really flattering. Um, and I'm going to dust this all over the mobile lid. Actually, I'm going to switch brushes and take a shader brush so I can really pack on the pigment. This is a Zoeva Luxe Smoky Shader. Then using that same brush, just going to run some of the colour under my eye. Then I'm going to take a mix of this kind of shimmery brown and the darker shade and I'm going to pop it into the outer third and just create more of a smoky look. Then taking just some of this darker shade, I'm just going to pop it right there, just to get a little bit more darkness. Then finally on the same shader brush, I'm going to take a little bit more of this brown and pop it just here. I think the quality of these Tom Ford eyeshadows are absolutely beautiful. I know some of them can be a little bit hit and miss, but this is the only one I've ever used. Well, I've used the cream ones. This is the first powder Tom Ford shadow I've used, and I think it is absolutely exquisite. I can highly recommend it. It was $8.95 for four shadows, which is a lot, but um, I think the quality is worth it. It's beautiful. It's a really stunning palette. Big mirror. It's perfect for doing your makeup on the go lovely and it's actually cheaper to buy it in South Africa than it is to buy it overseas I don't know how but it is next I'm going to take my failsafe eyeliner which is this Urban Decay 24-7 Blight on eye pencil and whiskey and I'm just going to do a little bit of smoky liner up here just rough because I'm going to blend it in don't need to be precise Same on the bottom. 
I think if you if you were to leave the bottom as it is, um, it's a little bit too pink, so it can make you look a little bit tired. So I think it's important to have something a bit darker on the lashes just to break it up a bit. Now I'm just going to curl my lashes and apply some very awesome mascara which Julia managed to find for me. This is the YSL um, Mascara Volume Effect and it is in a burgundy color. It is beautiful. So let me just curl these. Oh, it is so beautiful. I love it so much. Okay. It's a very subtle um, mascara. You won't really be able to see a huge amount of difference. It just has the right amount of that purple maroon color to make blue eyes pop. God, I hate that expression, but it's fitting in this instance. I'm just gonna take a little bit of the mascara on this super nifty, is that a 205? Yeah, 205, this little um, bottom lash mascara brush from MAC. Oh yeah. Oh, this is so beautiful, I love it so much. I don't know if the camera is picking up um, the color, but it really is beautiful. So if you follow us on social media, you'll see that I was flown up to Joburg for the launch of the new um, YSL store in Saturn City. It's currently the only store in the country. I think there are plans to slowly, slowly expand, but I'm not altogether sure. This mascara I absolutely love. It comes in a whole range of shades, obviously black as well, but then blues and greens and all that kind of thing. It is absolutely beautiful. It is 520 Rand. So no, I'm not gonna say to you rush out and buy it because that's ludicrous, but I have a sickness and that is why I own it. So next I am going to do some blush and for that this is not a new product but this palette is new so this is the Stila uh, Sunrise Splendor Convertible Color Dual Lip and Cheek Palette. I'm going to use a combination of these three shades here. This palette isn't locally available but the individual convertible colors are amazing and we both love them. I think I've been through two already. I think it's a sublime cream formulation. You can use it on the lips, I don't really, because it can be a little bit drying, but on the cheeks it is magnificent. Okay, now I'm gonna show you some skin fetish. This is in the nude color, so you have this uh, jewel ended stick. So on the one side you have um, the actual highlight, which is quite frosted, and then you have this clear balm on the other side, and then it also comes with this pigment which I don't think I'm going to use because it is very pink on my skin. Um, I'm not sure if you can see that. I mean, it is beautiful. I mean, I'm, I'm, I stare at it all the time because it's just so gorgeous. So I'm going to take the stick and just pop it on the cheekbones, down my nose. And then this is the brush that comes with the kit. Um, it's fine. I need to write home about. Just showing you for the purposes of this video. I don't know if you can see, but it's not... <laughs> It just doesn't wow me. I don't, I, I, I'm just doing it to show you because I don't want to seem like I'm, my review is overly negative. But for me, I just can't. I can't justify the the, the price. The balm I do really like, but I also think the effect can be mimicked with other products. And I know for me, this RMS Beauty Living Luminizer is for me one of my favorite highlighters and this comes in at an absolute fraction of the price. You can get it from Cult Beauty and it's also available online in the States. I don't know, what do you guys think? You need to let me know. I just think that this is expensive and the packaging is really cheapy. It's all, you know, it's these stickers that are stuck on skew and it feels very plasticky. This with no disrespect to Essence, is like Essence packaging. It is so cheap you wouldn't believe. Mm -mm. Not for me. I'm just going to take a little bit of the um, Max Factor Creme Puff Blush in Nude Mauve just to set the, the cream blush a little bit. This is really beautiful. I absolutely love these. Lastly on the lips, I thought I would show you two options. The first is this, uh, which I picked up at the same time as the palette, but this is the Tom Ford Lip Color in Spanish Pink. So I will give you a little... Oh, formulation is so good. It's delish. It is, as you can see, quite pink. A lot more pink than I would normally go for, but I think it is really gorgeous. However, to stop the look being 
too pink, I've got pink on my eyes, pink on my cheeks and pink on my lips, I think it's a little bit matchy matchy. I'm going to show you another option, a far more affordable option. And I'm sorry to be predictable but this is just the NYX Butter Gloss in Tiramisu which you can sometimes, if the gods are smiling on you, get it clicks. The, the stock levels are unpredictable and usually very low. I think this might be my all-time favourite lip product. I just love it and I can't imagine a time when I'm ever going to get sick of it. So that is the finished look, just showing you some products that I haven't used on camera before. I hope you enjoyed it. All of the products will be linked in the blog post as well as um, links of where you can get hold of them. So thank you very much for watching and we'll see you again soon. Bye. My next favorite is this Kevin O'Quan eyelash curler. As a long time user of the Shu Yumera eyelash curler, and I still do love it, it does piss me off that they don't let you buy the rubber inserts uh, separately. So when you've gotten through the allocated two that you get with your purchase, that eyelash curler is effectively useless, you have to throw it away.